nestled away in remote Appalachia, is a little-known place simply referred to as far southwest Virginia. It's a place where heavy morning fog rises slowly from sleepy valleys as the sun comes up. It's a place where fish-laden rivers and streams run fast, cold, and clear. Birds chatter incessantly and colorful wildflowers bloom in the verdant mountains, forests, and fields. The famous Appalachian Trail meanders through here. Perhaps the artist Vincent Van Gogh described it best when he said, If you truly love nature, you will find beauty everywhere. This is certainly true of far southwest Virginia, for nature abounds. In the 1990s, the Nature Conservancy labeled this region's extraordinary ecological and biological diversity as one of the last great places on Earth. You may dream of exploring Africa, Asia, or the Amazon to find adventure or exotic plants and animals. But, in far southwest Virginia, all you need do is open your back door and step out. Here's why. Southwest of the Interstate 77 corridor, 12 Virginia counties embrace 5,500 square miles. Within this area are approximately 1 million acres of national forest, state forest, wildlife management areas, preserves, parks, protected lands, and hundreds of miles of hiking trails. Watersheds from the Clinch, Powell, and Holston rivers rise to form the headwater drainages of the Great Tennessee River system. These scenic rivers are clean, teeming with fish, and support the world's largest concentration of freshwater mussels. About 12,000 years ago, Native Americans arrived in the region, paddling up these rivers and following ancient paths called traces, made by buffalo. Many of these buffalo traces are under modern roads and highways in use today. Three physiographic provinces occur in southwest Virginia. The Blue Ridge Province, containing the highest elevations in the Commonwealth, the Appalachian Plateau Province, widely known for its reserves of coal and natural gas, and the rugged Valley and Ridge Province, whose mountains and valleys were created by tectonic plate collisions and erosion. Located in the western extremity of Virginia, the southeastern portion of the Appalachian Plateau Province possesses a rugged surface character. This hides its much less dramatic geological structure, comprised of gently sloping sedimentary remnants of an ancient seabed that merge almost imperceptibly into the Great Plains. One transition point from the Appalachian Plateau Province to the mountainous Valley and Ridge Province occurs at historic Cumberland Gap, at the extreme western tip of the state. Cumberland Gap is an area long used by Native Americans, by explorers and long hunters in the 1600s, and by Daniel Boone in the mid-1700s during construction of Wilderness Road. Wilderness Road served as a gateway to the west and changed hands several times between Union and Confederate forces during the Civil War. Mountains of the Valley and Ridge Province formed between 450 and 350 million years ago during the mountain building process at the end of the Ordovician period, when Earth's tectonic plates collided with tremendous force. Sixteen of Virginia's 17 peaks exceeding 4,500 feet are found in far southwest Virginia. With steep sides and narrow ravines, these mountains contain the greatest concentration of mountain gorges and extreme whitewater streams in Virginia, providing numerous and often spectacular waterfalls. Three mountainous areas of particular note include Mount Rogers White Top, the Clinch Mountain Range, and the High Knob Landform. Virginia's highest mountain, Mount Rogers, has a summit elevation of 5,729 feet above sea level. Sometime during the Precambrian Eon, about 750 million years ago, volcanoes erupted here along the axis of what would later become the Appalachian Mountains. Remnants of lava flows are found here in volcanic rock called rhyolite. The Mount Rogers area is also the only place in Virginia where geological evidence of glaciation is preserved. These ice ages happened prior to the presence of abundant life on Earth. Neighboring White Top Mountain, similar in appearance to Mount Rogers, is the second highest peak in Virginia 
with an elevation of 5,520 feet and has a cloud forest near its summit. Ecological islands in the sky, both mountains have plants and animals more commonly found much farther north, along with organisms that show speciation from isolation. Clinch Mountain runs almost 150 miles in a generally northeast direction from Signal Point Peak near Blaine, Tennessee to Garden Mountain near Berks Garden, Virginia. It separates the Clinch and Holston River basins, providing a geographic barrier with only two natural gaps in its entire length. The mountain provides a natural migration route for soaring birds during seasonal migrations. Because of the steep slopes of these mountains, the gaps controlled access to the sacred, yet contentious, Kantakee hunting grounds to the north and west. Native Americans warred for centuries over hunting and fishing rights to these lands, rich in game, fish, and edible plants. At the core of far southwest Virginia is the imposing high knob landform looming over the Powell River Valley. The erosional remnant of an even more massive mountain, which, at over 100 air miles in length and 10 air miles in width, is the most dominant feature of the 3,125 square mile Cumberland Overthrust Block. The wettest region in the state, the High Knob area receives an average of 60 to 70 inches of precipitation each year, impacting weather in all of southwestern Virginia. Southwest Virginia also has large areas of karst topography, famous for having many caves and sinkhole systems. More than 2,500 caves are currently documented west of the Interstate 77 corridor, but many more are yet to be discovered. The longest cave system in Virginia, tied for 15th longest in the United States and tied for 61st longest in the world, is the almost 29 mile long Omega Cave System in Wise County. It has a vertical depth of 1,263 feet, making it the deepest cave east of the Rockies and north of Mexico in North America. These geologic, topographic, and climactic features provide conditions in far southwest Virginia to support a unique blend of northern and southern forests. These conditions are ideally suited for tremendous ecological and biological diversity along with the origin, development, and support for populations of rare species. As a result, there are more than 400 species of rare and endangered plants and animals found here, and certainly more to be found. The variety of organisms living in these diverse habitats is simply astounding. Until decimated by logging, and then blight, in the early 1900s, the American chestnut tree at one time comprised as much as 25% of the region's forest. Today, roughly 1,900 species of trees, shrubs, and herbaceous plants are documented in far southwest Virginia, including 130 species of trees, 76 species of fern and fern allies, almost 40 species of orchid, and two dozen violet species. Some of our many imperiled plants include running glade clover, Virginia roundleaf birch, roundleaf sundew, Canby's mountain lover, glade spurge, and Alabama grape fern, to name only a few. In the Clinch, Holston, and Powell Rivers, about 18 species of rare and endangered fish are found, including the paddlefish, and threatened aquatic creatures such as the spiny river snail, and eastern hellbender salamander, third largest salamander in the world. Further, there are roughly 55 threatened freshwater crustaceans, including crayfish, isopods, and amphipods. These rivers also support the world's greatest concentration of freshwater mussels, of which 26 of the remaining 45 species are globally rare, including 13 listed as federally imperiled. Reptiles and amphibians found in southwestern Virginia include approximately 9 frog, 4 toad, 17 snake, 3 lizard, 11 turtle, and 35 salamander species. In one 2,000 acre plot on Mount Rogers and White Top Mountain, 20 species of salamanders are known, the largest concentration of salamander species in an area that size on Earth. All 16 species of Virginia's bats are protected, and there are more than 50 unique, rare, and endangered cave organisms 
such as the Unthanks Cave Snail and Lee County Cave Isopod. Southwest Virginia is one of the few places in the east where both bald eagles and golden eagles can be seen. A birding hotspot, the region is located in the midst of the migratory flyway. Each year during September, thousands of broad-winged hawks and other raptors are meticulously counted from a fire tower above the town of Mendota as they migrate south. Also, in September, friends and birders from around the country gather at a home near Grundy to observe and photograph upwards of 70 avian species inclusive of 30 species of migrating fall warblers. Six different woodpecker species, including threatened pileated and redhead woodpeckers, several species of vireos, wrens, cuckoos, tanagers, and many more are recorded from this area. In all, perhaps 175 species of terrestrial birds, not including waterfowl, occur here, and several of these are listed as threatened. Terrestrial invertebrates are some of the most uncelebrated creatures found in far southwest Virginia. These include insects, centipedes, millipedes, and spiders. The Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries estimates Virginia has between 18,000 and 20,000 species of these invertebrates, with approximately 150 species listed as endangered or threatened. Examples of rare and uncommon invertebrates found in extreme southwest Virginia include the Hayhurst scallop wing, northern meadowmark, Appalachian tiger swallowtail, Diana's fritillary, gemmed satyr, and juniper hair streak butterflies, dragonflies such as the Cherokee clubtail and the big Cedar Creek millipede. A crucial, often overlooked, aspect of southwest Virginia's forests are fungi, perhaps more than 600 species. 90% of the living stuff, called biomass, in a forest floor is fungal. Bacteria, insects and their larvae, algae, and other things comprise the remaining 10%. Aside from being the best decomposers, fungi have a symbiotic relationship with trees. Trees are highly dependent upon thousands of miles of mycorrhizal fungal threads associated with their roots that tap into distant nutrient and water sources for healthy growth and survival. In return, trees provide fungi with sugars needed to produce fruit bodies. Considering that much of our flora and fauna is still to be discovered, this area is truly a natural laboratory. So, if you love nature, far southwest Virginia is one of the last great places on earth for both scientist and artist. Here, beauty is everywhere. Just open your back door and step out.